knowledgeable people here at IMTC World coming from very many different employment backgrounds. I just spoke to Mr. Dilip Ratha, who generously gave me a minute of his time to answer a few questions. Let's see what he had to say. So what are the main points of your presentation? Well, I talked about uh, the large size of remittances, that they are over $400 billion a year. And uh, I also talked about how remittances this year in uh, Europe and Central Asia are uh, slowing down. In fact, they're falling quite a bit. About 18% fall is expected this year. And that could cause a lot of hardship to poor people. But then I also talked about how remittance prices are falling. And there is the need for remittances to be linked to financial services for poor people. And that would be a great way for remittance companies to help a lot of poor people and, uh, uh, and the development process in general. I think the most important thing that I would like people to remember is that remittances provide a lifeline to a lot of poor people out there. And that uh, when we provide remittance services, we are not only making money, we are actually helping a lot of poor people uh, in, their, in their own way of uh, living. And uh, if we can facilitate that process further by linking remittances to financial services, to loans, to insurance products, and to facilitate countries issuing diaspora bonds for mobilizing big amounts of financing, that would be really beneficial to global development. I really like the gathering of all the like-minded people and the remittance companies from all over the world. I was a bit surprised about the, uh, the, the, the attendance, that there are so many people from so many parts of the world, including many of them are thinking about the frontiers of uh, remittances like using virtual currencies and all that. And I really appreciate the opportunity to get together and network with so many people.